Good morning and welcome. How are you? Hope you are feeling fine. My dear students, in this lecture I will discuss a new topic from English past paper. So my dear students, let's start. And before that I am going to disappear. Here you find three pictures. Can you guess the topic we are going to discuss looking at the pictures here? I think you can guess. Yes, today I am going to discuss diaspora. Unit 9, lesson 1. The title of the lesson is What is Diaspora? First, we should know the definition of the word Diaspora. According to Merriam Webster Dictionary, we find here three definitions of the word Diaspora. The first definition is the movement, migration, or scattering of a people away from an established or ancestral homeland. The second definition is people settled far from their ancestral homelands. And the third definition is the place where these people live. So, the first definition means the activity, the movement or migration. The second definition means the people settled for their ancestral homeland people and the third definition means the place where these people live here you find the places read the places and then carry out the activities that follow the term diaspora is used to refer to people who have left their homelands in the and settled in other parts of the world either because they were forced to do so or because they wanted to live on their own. So at the very beginning of this basis we find the definition of the word diaspora and here diaspora means people who have left their homelands and settled in other parts of the world. That is, the second definition has been used here. The word is increasingly used for such people as a collective group or a community. Increasingly means more and more. The word is more and more used, used for such people as a collective group or community. The world has seen many diasporas, but the scholars have been studying the phenomenon with great interest only in recent decades. Let's see the meaning of this word phenomenon. Phenomenon, this is singular and its plural form is phenomena. Here you find the definition a fact or an event in nature or society especially one that is not fully understood and the synonymous words are occurrence fact happening or incident the world has seen many diasporas but scholars have been studying the phenomenon that is the fact or occurrence with great interest only in recent decades. Decade means 10 years. This is the second thesis. Let's read the thesis. Among the great diasporas of history is that of the Jewish people who were forced to leave their lands in ancient times. 
again at the very starting of the thesis we find the definition of the word diaspora we do not find the definition but here diaspora the word has been used differently here diaspora doesn't mean people or group of people here diaspora means movement or migration that is the first definition has been used here the movement of aryans from central europe to the indian subcontinent thousands of years ago is also a note of the diaspora although the causes of this diaspora are unclear here we get the word subcontinent let's see the meaning subcontinent means a large land mass that forms part of a continent especially the part of asia that includes india pakistan and bangladesh the indian subcontinent this means india bangladesh and pakistan the movement of aryans from central europe to the central europe to the indian subcontinent thousands of years ago is also a note of the diaspora so this is also a significant diaspora and this is the movement of the aryans from central europe to indian subcontinent and this happened thousands of years ago although the causes of this diaspora are unclear the causes are not clear in 20th century history the palestinian diaspora has attracted a lot of attention and been a cause of concern for world leaders because of the plight of palestinians Here we get the word concern. Let's see the meaning. Concern means a feeling of worry, especially one that is shared by many people. And the synonym is worser, anxiety, worry, apprehension, fear. And its antonym is word is reassurance. And the meaning of plight is. a difficult and sad situation and the synonym is worse predicament difficulty or trouble in 20th century history the palestinian diaspora has attracted a lot of attention and been a cause of concern for world leaders because of the plight of Palestinians in recent time in the 20th century Palestinian diaspora it is movement or migration of the Palestinians has attracted a lot of attention and this has been a cause of anxiety or concern for the world politicians and the reason behind this is the plight or suffering or predicament of the palestinians there have been massive diasporas in africa too over the centuries either because of war or because of the ravages of nature ravages let's see the meaning of this word ravages ravages means the destruction caused by something and the synonym is worse damages devastations havocs or destructions so there have been massive diasporas in africa and over the centuries the cause behind african diasporas or was the causes were uh, actually were 
and ravages of nature. So, African diasporas happened due to war and ravages or devastations or destructions of nature. But the chief reason why the phenomenon of diaspora is attracting to so much attention now is globalization. But the main reason why the phenomenon, why the fact of diaspora is attracting so much attention now is globalization. And on the basis of these two passages, here you find five questions, five short questions. You will have to answer these questions. Let's see the questions one after another. First, question A. What do you mean by diaspora as mentioned at the beginning of the first passage? Here we find the beginning of the first passage. The term diaspora is used to refer to people who have left their homelands and settled in other parts of the world. So here diaspora means people who have left their homelands and settled in other parts of the world. Do you think the people in diaspora leave their homeland of their own accord? Either because they were forced to do so or because they wanted to live on their own. So, people do not leave their homeland of their own accord all the time. Sometimes they are forced. So, the answer will be not always or not all the time. And so we can write the answer in this way. By diaspora, I mean people who have left their homelands and settled in other parts of the world. And the second part, do you think the people in diaspora have their home, leave their homeland of their own accord? No, they do not always do this. Sometimes they are forced. Now question B, what is the word more and more used for? Actually the question is for what is the word more and more used? And the word actually means diaspora. For what is the word diaspora more and more used? What is the time that scholars have chosen for study? Here, the word is increasingly used for such people as a collective group or a community. You can find the answer here in this sentence. But here, such people, if you write the answer in this way, mentioning just the phrase such people, then actually the answer will be vague. Actually, it's not clear what we mean by sus people. So this should be made clear. And sus people actually means people who have left their homelands and settled in other parts of the world either because they are forced to do so or because they wanted to live on their own. So we can write the answer in this way. The word is more and more used for such for the people who have left their homelands and settled in other parts of the world either because they were forced to do so or because they wanted to live on their own as a collective group or a community. And the second part, what is the time that scholars have chosen for study? The word has been 
has seen many diasporas, but scholars have been studying the phenomenon with great interest only in recent decades. So, the time is recent decades. The scholar have chosen the recent decades for study. So, this is the answer of the second part of the question and this is the complete answer. Now, question C. What does diaspora mean at the starting of the second basis? Give an example of diaspora which shows the forceful movement of people. And this is the starting of the second basis. Among the great diasporas of history is that of the Jewish people who were forced to leave their lands in ancient times. Among the great diasporas of history. Here diaspora doesn't mean people. Whether it means the movement or migration or scattering of people from their established or ancestral homeland to other parts of the world. And the second part of the question is give an example of diaspora which shows the forceful movement of people. Here we find the Jewish people who were forced to leave their lands in ancient times. So the example is the Jewish people and the complete answer is at the starting of the second passage diaspora means movement the movement migration or scattering of a people away from an established or ancestral homeland the Jewish people are the best example of diaspora which shows the forceful movement of people this is the answer of the second part of the question. Give an example of diaspora which shows the first movement of people. And the definition, actually we find the definition here. The movement, migration or scattering of a people away from an established or ancestral homeland. So here at the beginning or at the starting of the second phases, diaspora means the movement, migration or scattering of a people away from an established or ancestral homeland. Now question D. Which diaspora creates anxiety among the world politicians and what is the reason behind this? Here in this part we can find the answer. In the 20th century history the Palestinian diaspora has attracted a lot of attention and been a cause of concern for world leaders because of the plight of poly Palestinians. Which diaspora creates anxiety among the world politicians? And what is the reason behind this? My dear students, one thing you should keep in mind that here each question carries two marks and so you will not just get the word or phrases as you find in the text. Sometimes you may get synonymous words and phrases in the question and while answering the question you should actually follow the words and phrases used in the question. And so, while answering the question, you cannot just copy the part of the text in the answer. Rather, you should follow the words and phrases used in the question and you should answer the question accordingly. Here we find the word anxiety has been used. In the text, we get the word concern, cause of concern. We get the word cause and here the synonymous word reason has been used and here world politicians we get the word uh, phrase world politicians but actually here world leaders this phrase has been used and if you answer this question you cannot just copy this text you cannot write this sentence word by word 
in the answer. So, what we should write in the answer? Actually, the question is quiz diaspora. Quiz diaspora, and the answer is Palestinian diaspora. And the next part of the question is seeking the reason. What is the reason behind this? The reason is the plight of Palestinians. So the answer is the Palestinian diaspora creates anxiety among the world politicians and the reason behind this is the plight of Palestinians. This is the last question. What are the factors behind African diaspora for a long term? And we can find the answer in this sentence. There have been massive diasporas in Africa too over the centuries, either because of war or because of the ravages of nature. So, what are the factors behind African diaspora for a long term? Again, we cannot just write this sentence word by word in the answer. Rather, according to the demand of the question, we should find out the exact word and phrase we should choose the exact word and phrase for the answer and while answering the question we should use the words and phrases of the question also. Here we get the word factors and here in this sentence we get the phrase because of, because of the ravages of nature, because of word. That is, because of war and because of the ravages of nature. This part of the sentence actually shows the reasons. So, we should write the answer following the question. The factors, the factors behind the African diaspora for a long time are war and ravages of nature. So the answer is the factors behind African diaspora for a long time are war and the ravages of nature. So my dear students, while answering the short questions, you should follow the words and phrases I mean the language used in the question. In the text, some other words or phrases may be used and some synonymous words or phrases may be used in the question. But while answering the question, you should follow the language, follow the words and phrases used in the question. And at the same time, you should follow the tense used in the question and I think following all these rules you can answer the short question correctly but again one thing I would like to remind you and that is, you should not copy the text from the given text. You cannot just write taking one part of the text from the pieces. 
sometimes your answer may be correct but not all the time in most cases you will fail to answer correctly if you just copy the text from the faces so my suggestion to you is that you will follow the words and phrases used in the question and accordingly you will prepare your answer and thus you can get you can obtain full marks in this type of questions So my dear students, that's all today. Thank you. Thank you very much.